Joining me now, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell of Michigan. Congresswoman, welcome back to The Sunday Show and welcome here on set, I think, for the first time live. It's great to be back on this set and with you in person. Well, um, so let's talk about this. Why is it important to you? Why was it important to you to have Michigan moved up on the Democratic primary calendar for 2024 and beyond? So, Jonathan, for me, this was a 30-year odyssey. Senator Carl Levin, who, when I spoke yesterday, I asked everybody to remember him, I think realized more than anybody and began to try to educate people about what impact early states have on issues that are part of the Washington, the federal agenda, uh, and the kind of attention that those states get from presidential candidates, because they're living in those states, so people know their issues, and that no state should have a lock on going first. Uh, so yesterday's was a victory for the country. I don't believe any one state should have a lock on going first. I think everybody should have the opportunity for those candidates to visit their state, know their issues, understand what makes the people of their state tick. This was long overdue, and it's a victory for this country. So, that, But why Michigan? What well, is it about Michigan? Michigan is a great place. for. The, first of all, there's no road to the White House that doesn't go through the heartland or the Midwest. Uh, I was not reflective of the diversity of this country. Michigan is a place that you can do retail politics. But people don't. We make things and we grow things. So we have the second most diverse, other than California, agricultural products, our farmers. But we have the union halls, labor. We have very diverse. We have a significant African-American population, Hispanic population. One of the largest Jewish populations in the country, but the largest Arab American population. And you want to do retail politics? There is something you can do every single day. They have a county fair in these places. We have a county fair <laughs> every weekend. We have Friday. And you know what? I'll tell you something. In 2016, I told you and a whole lot of other people that Donald Trump was going to win and nobody believed me. You know why I knew? Because I was in union halls, black churches, and farmers markets. I listened to people. So we're a good state to start it in. You can do retail politics. I, I, you know, you anticipated that because I was going to say, how much did 2016 play in your pushing real hard this go around to get Michigan to move up? But I want to ask you about a, a poll number that I just asked um, uh, Leader Clyburn about. In the Washington Post, it shows that 62 percent of Americans say they would be, quote, dissatisfied or, quote, angry if Biden were reelected in 2024. 58 percent disapprove of his handling of the uh, of the economy. And I'm just wondering, given given those numbers, there might be some folks who say, you know what, Biden should reconsider running for reelection. What do you think? So, first of all, you know what I think of polling, because, oh, by the way, the polling <laughs> told everybody that Donald Trump wasn't going to win in 2016. I, and I've been, I'm not old, but I'm seasoned. And I've been around where I've seen people have been told they could never win elections. You know, Bill Clinton was told he could never win an election. So polls are a snapshot in time. And by the way, I'm out there talking to people. They're feeling better. They're feeling a little more secure. You saw the jobs numbers on Friday. People are unhappy. We've got to worry. I, you know what? People are tired, period, of partisan bickering. They're really worried. We've got to, whoever we are, Republicans or Democrats, be talking about the dinner table issues. Joe Biden talks about dinner table issues. I think you can have all these numbers now, but when you get into a presidential election, I think people are going to really look at what he got done these first four years, and that's what they're going to base their vote on.